I don't make any money from this channel. You will not find any requests for donations or any links to do so. I don't promote any products or services, and my channel is not monetized. You can check this for yourself. There are several websites that can tell you whether a YouTube channel is monetized or not, or this simple method that allows you to see YouTube's source code. I have never accepted donations, because one of the biggest accusations thrown at critics is that we are just doing it for the money. I wanted to make sure that nobody could question my motivations, and ensure that my intentions remained pure. I also remain anonymous, so nobody can accuse me of doing what I do for fame or attention. As a further bonus, anonymity forces viewers to attack the information, rather than default to ad hominem attacks. Any personal attacks don't land, because they don't know anything about me or my life. So if I'm not making videos for money, fame, attention, or self-promotion, why am I doing it? When I was in the MTC in 2009, I found out from a stranger using mormon.org chat that Joseph Smith was a polygamist. Not only that, but he had married some women who already had living husbands that they were legally married to. I had initially denied these facts because no official church media that I had been exposed to in 19 years had ever mentioned any wife of Joseph's but Emma. Every manual, magazine, and video production depicted a happy monogamous couple. I had been told in Sunday school that Joseph only introduced the principle of polygamy, and it wasn't until members arrived in Utah that they began to practice it. I was also told that some women were sealed to Joseph after he had died, but none were sealed to him while he was alive. Yet right there in the chat window were links to the church's ancestry website listing numerous plural wives, including some who were already married to other men. I was shocked. I felt sick. How did I not know this? Why didn't the church prepare me for this encounter? What else did I not know? What else had been hidden from me? As I continued on my mission, I had several other anti-Mormon issues brought to my attention, and it became clear to me that I had been given a whitewashed and false representation of the church and its doctrine. I also saw the ugly side of missionary work, including leadership infighting, emotional manipulation and abuse, deception, and treating people like numbers. By the time I returned, bearing my testimony felt like lying, because I no longer believed that the church I was sent out to promote was what it had claimed to be, and I knew I had research to do. After a year of studying the church history that had been withheld from my curriculum in church and seminary, it became clear that I had been lied to, and had wasted two years of my life unknowingly spreading those lies. I resigned from the church two years later, and decided, along with a friend, to make a video summary of some of the issues the church had not been honest about. My only motivation, as the channel name suggests, is to inform. I try to provide others with the information that I wish I had known earlier, so they can make better informed decisions regarding their church participation and membership. I'm not trying to persuade anyone to leave or destroy the church. If you are happy in the church, I support your decision to remain. I just feel that people deserve to have the full picture of the church that was withheld from me, so they don't make the same mistakes that I did. I hope this video helps clear up any questions regarding the motivations behind my critical content.